Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this month's version of Pass Insights newsletter. I'm Hiram, and I'm going to be covering how to get the Cognitive API by using Python and T-SQL, specifically the Azure Text Analytics API. I'm also going to show you the prerequisite steps inside of SQL Server Machine Learning Services, and we're going to write a Python and T-SQL store procedure in order to connect to the API. Everything that I'm going to show you is available at this GitHub URL, and if you have any questions, feel free to connect with me. This is all my contact information. All right, so during the installation of SQL Server, or after we can add this feature by checking the box that says machine learning services in database. Now, you don't have to check R for the sake of this demo. I'm checking both of them, but we only need Python in this example. Now, those features are also available from 2016 all the way to 2019. And in 2019, you also have Java as a third option there. The next step, we're going to enable external scripts, and I'm going to run reconfigure with override, so that takes effect immediately. I'm also going to create a login for a new security group that got created after adding those features, and this login is basically the machine name uh, backslash SQLR user group. This login only is going to have permissions to connect to the instance. Now, there's a couple of other steps. You can restart the instance, definitely apply the latest CU, but this is all pretty well documented in the repo. All right, let's get to the demo. Now, this is Azure Data Studio, and I have a notebook open here inside of Azure Data Studio. I'm going to create a table around a TV show on Netflix called Trail Hunters. Now, the, the schema of the table basically has a column for the character name, the quote, which is something that the character said, and then a sentiment column for that statement. Now, the sentiment is going to be empty, and I'm going to get the Cognitive API to return the sentiment for the quote. Now this script runs here and it's going to insert 72 rows, correct? There they are. All right, the next step, I'm going to create a view uh, called JSON quotes that's going to prep my data in JSON format so that I can send it to the API. Now I'm using here for JSON path and I'm getting 80% of the table only during this, inside of this view. I'm also assigning the language to English, to, to English and the quote uh, column, I'm just gonna label it as text. All right, to test that the view is working correctly, I'm going to run SP execute external script with a very simple Python script here. It's just exchanging two variables as an input and an output. I'm using the input, uh, the view that we just created, and then I'm passing the input variable doc in, and I'm uh, passing back to SQL Server uh, an output variable called doc out. So this runs. And this is what we see here. It's actually our JSON uh, payload that we're going to use to send to the API. So it's formatted correctly, documents it's here at the root. Then we have an ID per quote, and the language is there as well as the text, which is the quote itself. And we have multiple rows, uh, as we could see. All right, so the next step, this is the important part here. We're going to get uh, develop a new store procedure, and this store procedure is called get cognitive API quote sentiment. Now I need my key here. This is a more uh, complex Python script now. I'm going to grab this key from my cognitive instance that I've already created. Now if you haven't created one, you can come here to this website, azure.microsoft.com, uh, continue with the URL to the cognitive services, and then select text analytics. When you land on this page, you can see that they actually let you demo um, by putting statements here in. And when you click on Analyze, this is one of the quotes that's inside of my data set for the TV show. When I clicked on Analyze, it's telling me that it's 78%. So we want to do this for multiple quotes in one shot, pretty much. Now, if you click on Pricing, it'll take you to the ability to create a free one uh, in your own subscription. Now, I've already created that, and this is the key that I need here. Let me go back to Azure Data Studio. I'm going to paste the key. So what we're doing here is we're building the uh, HTTP string and passing sent or appending sentiment here at the end of that. There's also a newer version 3.0 that has uh, new capabilities that you can test out. There's uh, information to that resource towards the end of the presentation here. But we're going to build this URL string and we're going to use requests instead of Python by importing requests. I'm also importing pretty print in case that I need to troubleshoot and print what some of the, the response itself looks like or the data frame itself looks like. Um, this is how you print the type of a variable in case you need to troubleshoot that. 
Now, after we build the, H the string itself, the HTTP URL, we're passing the authentication key. This is how we're building the request and the headers for the, our call here. Uh, this is the input that's being called by SP executor external scripts that's being passed, which is, it has the contents of our view. And then um, return back to SQL, the data frame itself that contains um, the response normalized in a data frame. All right, so let's proceed here. Now the store procedure is gonna save the response um, back to a table that I've created temporarily called API results. And I'm gonna use that table to update the codes table and assign the score to the sentiment column. All right, so pretty straightforward. I run the store procedure uh, in this step. And we could see all of the responses that came back per all of the rows here. And we see the statement as well that got updated inside of the table for each, each of the codes. So pretty straightforward. This is very, very good now. I could have a sentiment score per each line item. And you know, here's an idea. Let's try to get the average sentiment per character. When we run this select statement, we could tell that Claire has the most positive uh, quotes at 86%, followed by Tobes and so on. Now, some of the characters, they, the API came back with 50%. This basically means that the API couldn't determine if it was positive or negative, so it gave it a neutral ranking. Now, I may go back and add more data so that I can get a little bit more insight with regards to uh, the analysis that I'm trying to do here. And we also see that some of the characters have very negative sentiments. So it's very, very good information there. All right, so let's go back to the presentation. So here, let's cover what we talked about. I showed you how to run through the setup in order to make this work, how to use a, an Azure Data Studio notebook. And if I might back up here for a second, this is how you, if you were to print the actual data frames themselves or the response uh, JSON, we would have seen it come back inside of the messages tab and in a regular query window and like this. And even if, there's, if there are errors from the API, you'll see them in the response. And if you were to print the type, uh, for example, to try to determine, to make sure that it's a data frame for that variable, this is how it looks like when you try to print it. All right, so with regards to the, the summary of what we covered, I showed you how to, spin up an instance as well of the cognitive text analytics, uh, how to use for JSON path to prepare your data in order to communicate with the API. And then the store procedure itself that I use to communicate and change information and persist it back to my table. With regards to resources, everything that I've covered, like I mentioned, it's, a, it's at this GitHub URL available for you. And this is the URL for the Netflix TV show for Trail Hunters, this is the character Toby. There are several other resources here. And I'm speaking at Summit this year. If you have the ability to attend, it would be great. I also have a quick eval here that you can fill out. It's only gonna ask you two or three questions as far as uh, the presentation that I provided. It would be great if you provide some feedback there. This is all my contact information. With regards to the event, you can see here that I have two sessions. I'm speaking at Summit for the first time this year. And both of them are, one is Thursday morning, early in the morning, covering the Power Platform there. And the second one is on Friday morning uh, with specifically around the content that we, that we just talked about now. Now, this is the GitHub URL that I was referring to here. You have all the resources that I um, use throughout developing this project, as well as what I use to compare the Azure Text Analytics API uh, to some of the other popular ones that are available on the market. All right. Thank you very much, and I hope you guys have found this information insightful. Have a great day.